I'm Bernard Gibson, your instructor for this semester, and this is your orientation uh, for the class. But let's start uh, by getting a good frame of reference. And it's said that, or it can be said, that the quality of each person's life is the full measure of that person's commitment of excellence. And so that's how we start this semester. Um, this is just a snapshot of the textbook, and I'll give you a little more background on that but uh, in a little bit later segment. But I really want to be able to take the next 15 to 20 minutes and set a framework for you to help you get started, first and foremost, but just as importantly, to make sure that you are successful in the semester. This is the orientation for Marketing 300, Marketing 400, excuse me, Marketing 300 Online, Business 300, Business 330, Management 362 and Management 372. And as I uh, introduce myself, I'm Bernard Gibson, your instructor for this semester at Folsom Lake College. Welcome to the orientation. This is a global world that we operate in. So you have to figure out how you're going to excel because with a global platform, whether it's business, management, marketing, or diversity, it's not a function of being able to, being able to just survive. You're going to have to know how to s excel in what you do. So we'll go through a little bit on the class, uh, your particular class, and the structure of how it's set up, the textbooks, as I alluded to earlier, uh, some interaction and tips that may be helpful for you, uh, the grading process, which all students are usually interested in, how to excel in this technologically savvy world, and then we'll kind of summarize things. I've got some numbers there at the bottom for you uh, for the Folsom campus, for EDC, and also for Rancho, because we serve... Um, all three locations in what we do. So from a structural standpoint, uh, you may know already that we have a website that we operate with and, and that is MotivateTheWorld.com and I'll go through that here in just a couple of minutes and kind of give you an introduction to it. You are learning on a, a format or platform that I call IDEAL, Interdisciplinary Education application learning. So you're learning to apply what you can uh, from the classroom in the 21st century management, diversity, marketing, and business environment. So we don't lecture in class. There are video lectures that have been set up for you um, not only through the website but more importantly on the YouTube channel which I'll go through as well. And then you apply what you learn in this class or demonstrate that through assessments. So the expectation is that you will be able to figure out a way to not only keep up but to put yourself in a position to learn something that you can apply outside the classroom whether it's during the course of the time together or it's sometime thereafter so a couple of things are important in this realm respect the learning environment because it's not for you specifically it's a collaborative environment for all students so within that you're learning fundamentally how to operate not only in a classroom but that can extrapolate over into how the business world operates as well so let me shift uh, screens here for a second and let me move over to um, give you some visual on uh, Motivate the World and give you an idea as to how that's set up for you. And as we go to the large screen here, and if you need to enlarge a little bit to get a, a broader perspective, you can do that. On the left, you can see where my cursor is going there, and I'll give you a little uh, indicator of it. There are business courses, marketing courses, management courses that uh, you will go through one of these or possibly more than one of these this semester. You can also scroll down and you can see that they're each of the individual courses. So there in the middle of the screen is the introduction to business course, the managing diversity in the workplace course, principles of marketing online. So make sure that when we send you through the process of registering on the site and enrolling in the course, you're selecting the right class. This is the Principles of Marketing Online course. There's a Principles of Marketing that meets uh, in the classroom. Techniques of Management, which is the Management 362 course. And Human Relations and Organizational Behavior, which is the Management 372 course. Now, I'm just going to select one of the courses here and you will get instruction on how to register on the site and enroll in the class on the website which is a separate uh, uh, activity from enrolling and officially being in the class with the college I want to make sure that's clear for everyone so I'm gonna go and select the introduction to business class and it'll take just a couple of minutes for it to come up and as it comes up you'll notice that it gives you an introduction it talks about the student learning outcomes that are here 
And then as you start to scroll down, you can see that there's a course syllabus here. So I'll select that. And it's in Word, and it's probably the uh, old, it is the oldest version of Word, so that no matter what version of Word you have, it would be able to pick that up for you. Okay, and so because I've got it set up this way, you won't be able to see it, but I'll bring it down for a second. And then I will select it again, and then it'll go and convert it. Probably take a second here for it to do that. While it's doing that, you also notice that there are links here, and these links are to the YouTube channel of your specific course. And I'll go through the YouTube channel here just a little bit in just a little bit uh, more detail. You can scroll down, it's on a calendar basis for the full 16 weeks, and you can scroll down and you can see that um, there are forums each week. And I can select one of the forums there so you can see what that looks like. Okay, and I'll go back. There are also uh, videos, and those are links to the YouTube channel. So they can just show you exactly where to go, and I'll show you the YouTube channel in a second, as I alluded to. And you also have mini quizzes here. So you have about six of those, and they're graded exercises. Now go through those in the rest of the syllabus. But each week you can see what's due. Now I highly recommend that you uh, calendar the activities because you don't want to miss any of them. They are set, with the exception of the forum, the quizzes and the tests are set in stone. So if you miss them, you have missed that opportunity, and that opportunity won't come back to you. And you can scroll down through each week and see exactly what activities are due. So this is just a mild introduction uh, to um, uh, business or one of the classes to give you an example. You can see activities on the left here and there's some particular uh, categories that you can select and so you can look at for example the resources that are available to you overall so you can see there's some videos, there's link to other videos and then the syllabus uh, that is available to you. And if I go back, you can also look, and there's a mini version of the calendar on your right that shows you what's up and coming. But again, I'd highly recommend that you take the time and make sure that you understand and calendar your events for yourself and track them the way that uh, you might calendar and track other, th other things. Let me shift gears a little bit and move over to the uh, YouTube channel. And let me bring you a little bit larger perspective here. Now these are the playlists within the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com backslash motivate the world. Again, youtube.com backslash motivate the world. And you'll notice here that there are a number of different playlists. Playlists are like folders. So if you scroll down, you'll notice your class. There's the management 372 lectures. Uh, the Management 362, and etc. So let's click that one. There's Management 362. And you'll also notice that there are videos for each one of the classes, or excuse me, each one of the chapters. So here I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And I'm going to go to uh, Chapter 1, and I'm going to select that video. And it'll take a few minutes for it to buffer up for you uh, on your system, depending upon how strong a... Um, internet connection that you have. And again, this is just giving you a demonstration. Let's see if I can give you a broader view. Management in the marketplace, chapter one. And okay. We start our discussion, so these lectures are set up so that you have the opportunity to be able to uh, use them at any time that you feel you need to be able to use them. So if you wanted to look at the lecture uh, tonight at uh, 11 o'clock you could do that 8 o'clock in the morning you could do that so you always have the capability to know what lecture is going to be available to you I would highly recommend that you uh, take a look at those prior to the week's activities including the forums the mini quizzes and you also have two tests uh, that are lined up there so uh, being prepared means that you already know what we're going to discuss or have as a discussion, whether it's online or in the classroom, prior to you actually getting into that week's activities, if that makes sense. All right, so uh, let me go back, see if I can go back one more. And here you'll notice I also have uh, tests and assessments, orientation and development. And I'm going to pull up the uh, orientation and development uh, folder so you can see some of the things that are in there. 
some of the, the uh, videos that you need to take a look at. Again, these are resources and tools for your benefit include class conduct, so what's expected of you in the classroom, uh, technology in your textbook. You actually have a link between your textbook, your smartphone, and the YouTube videos that you can use at any given time to keep yourself mobile and, and, uh, and current. Uh, how to submit successful assignments, conducting research, and final plan projects. So you can see there are quite a few videos that are available for you that will help you through the course of the class and understand how the class is going to operate for you and, and hopefully put you on a track to be successful. And of course, if you have questions, you can let me know uh, what those questions may be. Okay, so that's a little bit on Motivate the World and a little bit on the YouTube channel so you kind of know where we are in regard to those. All right, so let me go back to where we were in regard to our uh, structure in the presentation. Okay, all right, I talked about Motivate the World and it's the website where you can pull information on your particular class. And I also talked about the YouTube channel, uh, backslash Motivate the World, and that's where you get the lectures so that we can then in class cover even more ground and getting you prepared to apply the things that you learn once you leave the classroom. So that's important. Okay, so a little more in regard to structure. What is it that you need to do? One of the things you want to do is be aware. In other words, uh, heighten your awareness about the topic and how we approach it. Sometimes it's not so much the topic excel itself as it is the approach that we take. The second thing we'll do is then get you to acknowledge that you're starting to grasp or understand that particular topic in a way that means that you're learning. From there, we want to make sure that you can apply that so you get assessments that are part of the application process. You also get a project or two that's part of that. You may have some mini assignments within the classroom, and you have quizzes as well that fall into that realm. And then last but not least, we have an overall assessment of how well you grasp things when you go into the uh, final project plan for your particular class. So what do you need to do? You need to stay engaged. You need to stay active, and you need to make sure that it's a priority for you in going about learning as much as you can about your topic. The textbook is Bridging Global Boundaries. It's a 21st century approach to business components and process. There's the ISBN. You can locate it at mirrorsmartshop.com or the camp campus bookstore. Those are the two places that I know that it's uh, available. Again, mirrorsmartshop.com or the campus bookstore to the locations where you can find the textbook. A lot of times people ask, do I need the textbook? Yes, you do. There's a lot of work that's been, been put into the textbook and the ability to link it to the videos and the ability to then link it to the website so that you have this full range of uh, knowledge and expertise that you can pull from. And so, yes, you do need the textbook to assist you. Aside from the fact that for the uh, two tests that you take, not the quizzes, but the two tests, um, almost 95% of the material is pulled from the textbook. That was a picture of uh, the textbook that you've seen before. So what are the activities that count? You have to participate. It has to be consistent, it has to be of a healthy nature, and engaging at all times. You have quizzes and tests. Those are two separate entities. These are the assessment portions that figure out whether the service uh, or excuse me, the um, student learning objectives are being met as well as your expectations within the class are being met. The forums, they have to be timely and thorough. It's not a minimal exercise. People ask me, how much do you want to see in the forums? How much does it take you to succinctly explain in the forum your point? Some people it may be a paragraph or two. Other people it may be a couple of pages. It depends upon how you write, how comfortable you are, and how well you can articulate your point in the forum and then respect the other peers that are in your, uh, in your forum as well. Group work and projects which you will do needing to be thorough, respectful, and then validate your efforts. Validation is done through research. And so if you find yourself in a position answering a question with I think or I thought, then that doesn't necessarily validate or substantiate the theory that you're trying to articulate. So that's where research can help you tremendously. And you're going to definitely need to research within this class. The grading process uh, really is based upon participations in the forums being about 20% of your grade. 
The first test, chapters 1, 2, and 3, another 20% of your grade. The second test, chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7, another 20% of your grade. You have about six mini quizzes that are uh, scattered throughout the semester. That's 20% of your grade overall. And then last but not least, you have your final plans, and those final plan projects are 20% of your grade as well. Check the syllabus where you have more detail and I've sent out one copy and I'll also probably send out several for you. Make sure to keep the latest version of the syllabus when it's sent out to you. Okay, so here are some tools for your benefit. Motivate the World as we went over is the website where you can pull information and know when is what, when and what is due at any particular time. The YouTube channel where you can look at the lectures and be able to put yourself in a position to be prepared for the week ahead, not behind, but the week ahead on what we're going to discuss, whether it's online or in class. The textbook, uh, which I uh, gave you a picture of so you can see uh, when you're looking for the textbook, if you go to Mirasmart, there may be other textbooks there. Make sure you select the correct one. And the textbook is the same for all classes. Where we change the information and material is in the lectures themselves. And so the link is through the textbook. And the emphasis are not so much on the textbook for learning purposes. They're in the video lectures. So we're forcing you to use a tool that the majority of you would use anyway, and that's a video format in order to give you the information you need to help you in the class. The library has a proprietary uh, database that has been purchased and a wealth of information that's available for you. And then the internet for your research, formulation of your ideas, and how you pull your concepts and thoughts together. All right, the final project. Those of you in the Business 330 class will actually do a diversity plan. Those of you in Marketing 300 and Marketing 300 Online will do a marketing plan. If you're in the Business 300 class, you will uh, develop a business plan. If you're in the Management 362 class, you will develop a management plan. And if you're in the Management 372 class, you will conduct a leadership plan. If you have questions, which I know you will, you can first revert to uh, Motivate the World because there's information on each of these uh, within your particular class that you can draw from. Always use your resources first. A lot of information is in your syllabus. It's on Motivate the World. It's on the YouTube channel. And you are going to be driven or pushed that way to draw that research first before asking a question. And you'll be surprised how much information is already available. You're going to need to do the work in order to find that information. And that's how you learn in the class. And that's important in the process to develop your critical thinking skills over the course of our time together. All right, so how might I succeed in this class to give you um, give you some ideas. And these are kind of tips for you. Decide on what are your priorities. And so I know that you have other things going on professionally, personally, uh, academically. But at the same time, you also have to prioritize things and use the right tools to help you in the prioritization process. The other thing you want to consider is ID yourself in all communication. So if you're sending me a message and you say, hey, what happened to my grade? I don't know who you are. I don't know what class you're in, so identify yourself every single time so I know who I'm speaking to and I can quickly help try to find an answer for you or direct you toward the right place to find that answer yourself. But that identification of who you are is extremely important and you can't rely on the fact that you think your name shows up everywhere in your email address because it may or may not depend upon the type and the way that information is received from the uh, person receiving your message. Addressing your peers and instructors with respect that is uh, almost first and foremost in the class. Making sure you respect not only their opinions but also respect the fact that they are in the class to learn just as you are. It's a shared learning environment. It is not an individual learning environment. At the same time as the instructor, sometimes people don't know how to address uh, someone that has a title uh, and it's not to try to differentiate or make someone seem that they're more important than you but in the business world 
in the management world, in the marketing world, in the diversity world. Uh, you address people by their title of Mr. or Mrs. or Professor or um, some formalized version of the title versus uh, being on a personal nature. I know for a lot of people in today's world of texting and putting yourself in a position where uh, you have a casual relationship with people, this is to help you understand how to have a professional relationship. And so we'll adhere to that over the course of the entire semester. Where that will help you is when you get into the actual business diversity management and marketing world and you're addressing people who have that stature that you may aspire to. And of course at some point when you get to that point uh, you would want to have the same courtesies professionally and the same uh, respect. Alright, so um, it's important to make sure that you calendar these events that I talked about you know your due dates because some of them are hard and fast you're not going to be able to come back if you miss that opportunity it's understand that there are going to be expectations and accountability for you and your work and this is not a sprint this is a marathon so the 16 weeks are mean means that in the 16 weeks you're going to have to pace yourself and make sure that you're just as strong finishing as you are starting. Okay. As I alluded to, this is a technologically savvy world, so the social interacting and networking are key. Communication is critical. You have to demonstrate your interest and your level of engagement to me as the instructor by asking questions and keeping the communication pipeline open. For example, sometimes people say uh, or expect that they would have feedback on a particular issue or a quest or an assignment or etc. Unless you specifically ask for it, you won't receive it because you have to demonstrate your level of interest. You earn your grade and your uh, level of accountability in this class based upon how much you initiate and engage in the class from the beginning until the end. This is a material review, look at all the files and tools that are given to you and it's important to understand how they can help you because that's the design for them. And you can already see there's quite a bit of information available. You're going to have to do the work again and buckle down and figure out how to use the tools to assist you. And then the learning style. These tools are developed so that whether you want to hear it, see it, feel it, touch it, uh, print it out, it's available in most formats for you to be able to do that. So based upon your learning style, you would be able to benefit uh, for the most part within this learning environment that we're trying to create. And then last but not least, violations. So uh, cheating, uh, trying to circumvent the system in a malicious way, these are serious offenses and they will tr be treated that way. Earn your way through the class you will personally feel better about it that you earned the grade and you went through the process versus trying to take shortcuts which are not there and you should expect treatment if you take that particular route over the course of our time together alright so let's summarize things you're going to develop your critical thinking skills throughout this course pay attention to the emails that I send you because you are looking at those as a form of communication and for some of you they may be a primary form of in, uh, communication. Read the instructions. If I send you the syllabus, read the entire syllabus. If I send you another uh, email directing you in a certain area, make sure you read everything about the instructions and then go through or to that area to make sure you understand everything that's expected of you. Complete your work on time. It's not self-paced it's designed to be in a kind of a business related format uh, but we will move quickly so you'll need to keep up as well actively participate and engage in the learning process apply what you learn and demonstrate how much you have learned here's my contact information Gibson B at FLC dot Los Rios dot edu and of course if you need me uh, via phone 916 608 6676 is the office number. Most of the correspondence will probably be via uh, email. Uh, if you have something that's of a, a more urgent matter, you may call me if you need to. Uh, the other thing about calling is that if I ask you to call, that's because I probably either have a concern 
or I'm seeing something that needs attention, good, bad, or indifferent, and I need to speak with you in regard to it. That's a, part, a function of your, or part of your uh, participation and engagement in the class, and so you want to make sure that you respond accordingly. Check your emails, respond back when requested to do so. So here's a thought for you to think about as you get in, uh, in ready and go mode for the semester. If you'll not settle for anything less than your best, you will be amazed at what you can accomplish in your lives.